Oh, I'm just looking at the heroes. I mean, they could go for some kind of a... Okay, th this is not what I expected. Uh, not the cute Daedalus builds anymore. Vampire. Ray Fire Blast comes out. And this should be your first blood as they move in. Fable, way too late to save his own life. And they will secure both rooms. As, uh, he, he, he's getting pretty low. The Flame Guard keeps him up and sustained. But GPK... Oh, this like, is going to kill him. Yeah, these he's right dead. clicks are too big. I... But if you think about the lane, you have... Fade Bolt, which reduces their damage. You have extra damage on Kankas. So pretty easy to play. But there it is. Hector is gone. I mean, it makes it much easier when your your support is walking all the way back to base bootless. And as we talk about that, Legion Commander and the Shakira will trade in the really bottom. Really not a tower pushing mid. That's why I love to see Amber Spirit combined with one. Uh, Hector. Who has building damage, Hector. You're going to see him combined with death. Chris Luck does rotate up. Throws out a remnant. Sasha is way too tanky though. He could just right click him down. And Vampire's here. Fate Bolt in two seconds. If he times this right as the Flame Guard ends, in fact, the right clicks might just do him in. Uh, okay, Vampire. Fate Bolted early. He still sees him. All right, full hit. There it is. Thank you very much, says Vampire. And I'll see you later. Oh, he gets He's gone. Well. What a play. I mean, he got the solo. To run out, so he needs to escape right now. Vampire couldn't. Wait, no, he gets it. Great fire blast out. And that's going to be another kill for GPK. Oh, has a lot of damage. And he's Life diving. Stone. He might actually get a solo kill on. Yep, yep. goes for the duel. I think it's too early, though. Not getting the procs in time, and the chrono comes out. The problem is he caught FNG. Dream kind of panicked chrono a little bit there. The macropa goes down. FNG survives. We he gets the kill. <laughs> oh. Zoning macropa. <laughs> they have no way of protecting him. Hector and the Inkswell that was stolen by Vampire. Held on to it long enough. Thunder God's Wrath. X Schofield. Hope you like boats, because you're about to become a big fan. Man, Gambit is all over. And now, one of those heroes might die. Ice Buff comes out, and uh, 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 they want to fight him right now, and they might find him. Oh, the pings come out. Lift is there. X, Ray Fire Blast. Everything thrown onto him. You want CC? Here's your CC. They press the attack. Not in time, but just enough time to move away with the remnant. And now, double Duel of Zeus with the double duel coming out. They'll move through. They'll get one. We're better get to the chrono comes out. FNG. And oh, he Whoa. doesn't put down the Macropa. He died to the burn damage. And now they need to get the void out of dodge. He'll move away in time. Give you the runes. X mark on the mid. There's and the combo. Can he blink the out? No, he cannot. And now he's just finished. Lift just to make sure they say vampire, you get the kill because you have almost got your four star. Lift, ice buff, macropa, and the torrent follow up will bring the ember down. You know what it was? It's, uh, it's that TV show from Mars, whatever it was, where like he's woken up. He's clearly like he thinks he's in the past. He's time traveled back uh, like several months where ember was good. Duel coming out too. Boys surviving this though, long enough. No, nope, he hits them down. The chrono as well. He's going to stay alive. Hold and brace. We'll keep Wraith King alive for the moment, but we'll be cleaned up once, probably twice in a second. As they back away the void, they keep him alive. They turn it against them. The double duel will not be there. At least Hector picks up a rune. Keep on farming even when you're dying. To be honest, they didn't do that much. They're just Duel. doing the fight by Dream. spell casting properly. They pop the Aegis. Whisper will move away with the Glimmer Cape to protect him. FNG looking for a target, but Chris Luck drags them left side with the creeps. Whisper escapes in the tree line. Phase 4 Dream looking for a kill, at least on the Stinger. Torrent's going to come out to scout him out. And he does a bash in time, but the X does come up from Slash, so the boat follow up as well. Ember moves away just in time, but Grimstroke might not be so lucky. Trying to move away with the Glimmer now, but he's surrounded and dead. Winners Gus, or is he dead? FNG does have the Ice Bar, and Stinger is trapped in here. We throw out the Inks well, but he's surrounded. There's no escape for him. He just There's needs no to buy enough time. Up. There we go. At least he buys enough time that Schofield is able to move away to the tower. However. Yeah, they popped their BKBs. Uh, Face of Void got rooted at the exact same moment. Hype it up, KP. They want more. Slash Lord. Down to half HP. He's a tanky bugger, though. They'll find him, though, with the Serum Chains chasing. Duel's going to come out. They say, I want that win. But the lift, Rubik, buying enough time that Duel won't be given over. Now the Nimbus going down to jump in. Dream, able to turn it around. This is the GBK. Brings down one. They'll bring down the Wraith King once, and they might get him twice. Void waiting on the return. Does time walk away? Movement in. Nice Serum Chains out. We'll kill off Rubik. Vampire down the back line, and Chris Luck limping away. On 50 HP. Another kill as Stinger does fall to GPK. That will be his dieback. Slatcho chasing. Blink away just in time. But no! The funny goes around! Chris Lung. This is the CIS team, Lacoste. Who are killing their own support. Okay, that is more like CIS. A little bit too fierce on the fighting. And now BKB Dream moves around the tree line and kills off Schofield. However, 
FNG did go down to Hector in the mid lane solo. Double team coming out. I don't know if he wants this fight though. This is hurting way too much. The Nimbus down. He's dead. Funny goes Ralph. Now the Inkspell won't go off as a result. Chris up BKBs. Dream. Time walk away. Gonna be chased on him. Schlatch though though. Throws out the X. Goes for the kill and Stinger instead of helping his core. And no, the shrine. GPK. He goes for the kill instead of proccing the shrine for oh, his boys. Oh, he goes back to Nimbus. He does. And Schlatch though. He has the X. Chris Luck has no remnants. They'll clap him down with a tiebringer. Chase on through. GPK gets the kill. <laughs> but I'm... Hector's coming in. Ice buff. They pinged it out. Torrent as well. Slowly going to will him down without really committing at all. Jump in. Dream. Needs to actually get a bash out. BKB from K1. Now the turnaround. Void. Getting low. Cold Embrace though. A little stolen. Used against them. Now to keep Void up and alive. The bow is coming in. will turn around against Legion. And now Wraith King down as well. They still have the Chrono. Dream is ready to fight. He throws it down. And with Hector's death, this is looking pretty golden for Gambit. No buyback on the Wraith King either. Dead for 95 seconds. Moving in with the time dilation. Chasing on the Schofield. Where are the bashes? Are you going to hit them? No, you're not. Cold Embrace protects him. But Ice Buff. Jump in with the Remnant. Chris Luck goes deeper with it. The BKB. Now, we're going to use Stolen Whiskers against him. Good enough to hold him in place. And when he comes out, the BKB is going to be in. The lift is going to be there. They jump him a little bit too early, but it's still good enough. 85 seconds dead. And this is looking about done and dusted. They won't give it heavily under Wraith King, though, as he does have that reincarnate. Nimbus on the side, however, catches out wide and trying for a backstab. And now the Chrono jumping on the Ember. The buyback's going to come up, and it may be too late. They're trying to protect him with the Cold Embrace and the Macrofire down as well. There it is. Glimmer Cape keeps him invisible. Ruin Dream up, but he's in a macro pass, so he's protected by his friendly neighborhood dragon movement in. Inkswell, Wraith King does stand out in the Dream, but it's not good enough. The Wraith Fire Blast does throw out, but now with the BKB, Dream ready to hit once more. Torrent comes through. Winners Curse try and protect him and keep him alive. Remnant jumping, going pretty deep. The boat's coming through, going to drag them back, kill off the Wraith King. He's dead and gone. No buyback either. They'll move in, and it looks like they'll be able to finish the game. As you see, Vampire spam out the Remnants. He won't find anyone, but they'll turn around and find Chris Lark. And Beast Coast are crumbling. This is GG comes out. Gambit take game one. It happened again. Yeah, I love the Zeus pickup from Gambit, man. He just dominated the game from the start. Had a good laning stage, played the lane extremely well. Got a couple of solo kills on Ember Spirit. Uh, just a casual one. <laughs> yeah, I get one or two. Let's face facts, right? You get 200 health, level 10, you just don't die. Ooh, hey. right. okay. So I'm getting levels. FNG, oh, Gambit, they're going to get all four runes at this rate. Yeah, actually, no, K1 skewers one in the end. As Drow was top, but in the meantime, Dream does fall in the top lane. And Schofield moves away from FNG. He does have a decay, but it's not enough to kill him. And now you can just south. And while we're doing that. GPK gets the kill. Yeah, yeah, so. Aim for that quick six, and then you just out farm your opponent. And Dream in the top lane. Well, they put three heroes up here on Beast Coast. And Dream, he's feeling the punishment. Very far to try and stay alive, but they're diving. And they will be able to find the kill as Stinger gets the final hit. Yeah, so they're sacrificing Chris Lux lane. They understand that uh, Kanka can't build into utility items, FNG. So they can't get the kill. Oh, FNG. 23. All right, FNG will go down. And Dream's chased on two as well, actually. He could die here. Yep. He can't oh, move away. He tried, uh, he tried a TP. He missed time. What? He missed time. The Barry Salt had one more proc. Thanks for playing, Dota And the Rocket, because the rotation in from Dream, trying to get the flak attacks out. Chris Luck's going to get low, and with the boat buff, he's going to die to the rocket, I think. It's going to be close. Nah. Just okay. about. One more snipe. Let's see Stroke of Fate. He's pinging it out. There he is. Top. He's going to do it. Yep. Oh, he actually gets him. FNG dies on the top lane, baits us away, and Vampire. That's a tombstone for free. And a boat into Shaxlow's face. Stroke through, connects on the free. Gets him low, but not low enough. Instead, they'll will down and kill off Shaxlow. FNG trapped in by Schofield here. Schofield now trying to move away. His dream does arrive. Rocket goes out, but missed time because they use the Astral to slam down the rock. Hammer from GPK allows him to get... However, GPK will find Chris Luck. The boat's coming in. Does a bit of damage. But now you're just giving all the in over. GPK looking like a really smart cookie. As the duel comes out, and they'll get themselves the second win of the game and two runes to boot. Duel's going to come out to go field. That may be a little bit premature, though. They're trying to move right now. BKB, GPK, jumping in on a K1. Will him down. Sand Slips gets dropped. Drow says, go field, barely limping away. They'll turn around, looking for the kill on Enchantress. They finish off another instead. Stinger, turn around for the kill on Whisper. GPK gets max value out of the first BKB. Looking pretty. Farm some wards and then kill off the heroes, maybe. Oh, jump in. Nice hit with the hook shot. And now the damage coming out. The BKB, GPK can't keep himself alive. He already used the four stuff to go aggressive. Not He's there yet. Hook shot in. Sees Dream. Catches him out. The Hex is there as well. The up... Oh, no. The uphill miss. Doesn't buy enough time. Silence a little bit too late to save his life. Now the X is coming out on the Vampire. Drags him back into the mess and he'll die too. 
On the other side, FNG, man fighting up against Hector. Gets him low, but Hector gets the kill. Astra goes out. Trying to pop that Aegis. Now BKB, GPK jumps in. Stinger goes down, gets melted off. Schofield turned around and he's going to be dueled and killed off as well. GPK, four staff away. But they might better get the X. There it is. They're going to drag him back. They say, you want this fight? Here it is with the Astral. Dodges out. Someone needs to save him. Guard the buybacks. Buybacks coming out now, but way too late. The disarm is there and OD is dead. And After they pop two BKB. Goes down by FNG. X is there. Pull down coming in. Now the Leash. Duel just two straight away. Stunned in the mid by the Leash. And the Charge Rats going to go down first. Now moving across GPK. BKB is still active but getting low. The boat's coming through. GPK will die. Double kill for Hector with his own BKB. No chase for us. A two for two trade with a buyback out. comes out. Actually the BKB from Enchantress as well. Torrent to buy a little bit of time. Still taking a lot of damage on both sides of this in fact. Saw by coming out. Link two together. The boat through. Actually whiffs off the mark. Vampire gets sniped out by Whisper. Double kill for him already as he brings down the Legion as well. And FNG. Four stuff into oh, the torrent, the gets the deep cleansing. Hookshot off. Backstabbed him. Hookshot in. Dream has the BKB. Can't use it though. The hex instantly out before he could get it off. Soul Rip won't keep him alive. Soulbind comes out, but way too late to make a difference. And now the BKB, GPK, moving in. Hex out. Enchantress. Beast owner of GPK away though. They're doing too much damage. Whisper gets the kill, forces them back. GG comes out. We're going to need a game three. A dominating performance. Man, if there was a perfect Enchantress game, this we just is saw one. It. Yeah. Like, I want to see the amount of the damage that she dealt. It's a pure damage, you can't really itemize. And uh, if she doesn't die... So yeah, I, I feel like they wanted to block pick uh, the Ember Spirit with this Monkey King. And uh, you, yeah, you mentioned the Storm Spirit. Enough. He didn't spot out the Vampire is down here still, though. They could still potentially find him. They got the Ignite, and in fact, Sting is an easy kill. With the Arrow Fruit, can't sidestep it in time. Skewer, beautifully tried, but FNG gets first blood. Yeah I, like yeah, I love what FNG is doing. He doesn't Vampire. want to kill Keeper of the Light. He wants a bigger kill. Vampire is in trouble. He will go down, but the bigger kill in the mid lane. Yeah, but Whisper has Wild Axes, so he's going to surprise oh, him. Oh, got him. Yep, yep gets the kill. And the bot lane, Ogre goes down, and response Vampire will fall as well. So this tri lane finally finds its upside. Killing your own pet, man. Uh, oh, Chris oh, Lock. The arm doesn't lane. make a good fit. Dying a lot. That was good from Vampire. Like, he was sitting in that tree line. As uh, he'll move in. Hector gets caught. Already used the doppelganger, so no escape. Arrow just to make sure. And actually, Scope would almost skew it into it. And because it's skewed forward, they can easily run him down under the tower. GPK is just juggling everyone on this team right now. He needs to get some kills. All right, that's a double kill for him. So that the time FNG he's can do this. mid should Stingers be worth it. All right, Primaror out. But he's not under the tower. He doesn't have any mana, however. So GPK trying to at least take one with him will fail to do so. It's these double boars. I mean, the arrow won't change the outcome. He tries oh, to turn for blood be. loss, but now Ron Dream doesn't ride. Primal Roar. Dream is dead. Ranger. Yeah, Whisper, he's too tanky. Long ball lightning going in. They get pinged out. Whisper drags him in. But Chris Luck there to save the day. However, the arrow through allows GPK to get the kill. And now they need a body block to stop Chris Luck from getting this damage. But GPK, he'll go down. FNG arrives. Can't get the stun out in time though. Chris Luck reaches the trees, turns around and goes back for more as he looks to spill the blood of Vampire. Stun out just in time. Push back. Stinger gets the kill. He says five deaths too much. Let's add up the kills now. He gets down. Moment. FNG, Chris Luck. Going for the kill. Be able to find it. The TP back by Drow is going to be punished instantly. Maybe you get the Ignis, but you're going to die for it. In fact, he doesn't even get the gold from the Ignis. Doesn't get the kill on the Stinger. It's a triple kill for Chris Luck. And all of a sudden, Beast Coast mid lane. Yeah, Long zip. Oh, arrow, arrow connects as well. GPK jumps straight on top of Ignis goes down. Chris Luck, he's still alive. Primal Roar goes out as well. Look at GPK. Phonic Shield protects him though. And Chris Luck, he gets the life steal, turns around, heals up with a double balance strike, finishes off on the vampire, and FNG on the back line gets found out. So that's when GPK will retreat up top. Chris Luck away from GPK. GPK starts that DD. Are they going again? Yes, they're going to try. Buybacks can come from FMG. BKB. Chris Luck moving in. Damage. They need some more procs on the drow. GPK gets to the tree line. Aphonic Shield protects him. Life still turn around. Vampire leaps away just in time. But Chris Luck now chasing. Dream. Slow down. Balance strike. Connects onto the drow ranger. Brings it down. FNG. Arrow through. Blocked out by the Necronomicon. Whisper. Beautifully microed. Keeps his core alive. And now, we're lightning in. GPK pushed away. Blind lights there. Primal roll follow up as well. On the side. They find a kill on the slash. He denies himself out. But GPK. Barely able to get out. FNG won't be so lucky. That will be the dieback for the past five Ogre. And Beast kind of mistake you don't want. He has borrowed time, but he's so far away from base. I'm not sure reinforcement's going to get there in time. 
TPK has to back off, found the strike, connects on the free here, it's Ignis, goes down afterwards, TPK down to half HP, Slash though, will go down, this isn't the centaur no. stomping onto him, and Chris Luck is still chasing, he's hunting for more Dream, he's on top of him, BKB activated, Gust wouldn't help you even if it wasn't on cooldown, Chris Luck, no balance strike for 8 seconds, but the slow coming through, Illuminate, one more hit needed, couldn't find it, don't hit with this Magnus, but he will hit with a balance strike, skewer back, on top of the net worth chart on the PL, Gambit, not long for this world right now. Skewer back, FNG gets caught out. DPK can't do anything to stop it. Numbers overwhelmed. Zerg Factor is at 10. And Beast Coast are ready to close this one out. As Mega Creeps have been achieved, the GG is called. Gambit, they give up. Nothing left yeah. in the chamber. Beast Coast take the series 2-1. I love the teams who understand that the, the game is over, so they don't even take the fight. Sometimes in Dota, you don't have to give up because you can turn games around especially if the enemy makes mistake but in this kind of scenario you know it's over we're drawing